today is when I was collecting all these things. Wow, what a place. It really is an Aladdin's cave. Now, it's time to head over to Clay Castle Recording Studio where I'm going to catch up with Warren and the lads from Synergy. Good to talk to you. Come here, that, that's fantastic. That song, Freedom, that's from your new album. It is, it's from our new album, That's How It Feels. I'm just recording a live video and recording here tonight, so play past the studios. So. And this is your second album, the first one being Transparency? Yeah, that's correct. So we're um, hoping to make videos for every track on this album because it's a good way for people to uh, listen to them and tend to listen to YouTube more often. So. Something to look at, I think it's the end of Yeah, so it's fun doing videos as well. So, this is a live take of the song with video cameras. So, how did Synergy got together in the first place, Simon? Well, I, I suppose I was asked to join Synergy about how long I'd say you were playing it for two, two years, years ago. ago. I suppose we, um, we started in our friend Kieran's house and um, we were just doing jamming, fireside sessions, jamming, and Frank, our lead singer, who's opted out of the interview. Is a, is a great songwriter and he had lots of these tracks and we just got together with Ollie and the other lads and uh, just started to develop them into his songs and then we said we'll try them out live and it just kind of kicked off and you know, got the crowd dancing straight away so we decided to record an album and we've been at it ever since. It's a real kind of fusion sound isn't it? There's, there's, I think you're very heavily in, influenced by reggae would that be right? It would be. This, this particular track tonight is, is more funk orientated thing but most of the tracks are reggae influenced and ska and world, a, a hint of world music as well. And what's ska? Ska is... Is, it, is that gossip? <laughs> Where I'm from it's gossip. Do you have any ska? <laughs> it's a kind of form, it's a form of faster reggae I suppose. It's one of the styles of reggae. Like um, Madness do a lot of it and the beat. So uh, we have a few tracks like that. We have a few reggae tracks and we have a few tracks like Celtic ones like Keela and stuff who we were influenced by and uh, we've got some ballads and country style tracks so we just we just play all styles in our own kind of way. Anything that gets, as long as it gets people dancing you know it's, it's a good thing so ska and reggae and tribal stuff really gets people dancing. You notice people dance different to different songs and you know we do like a Calypso type song and you get everyone coming out doing their best a Calypso style dance you know so it's cool, it's cool. Got, like that's the main thing, isn't it? We, we thought that getting people back to when they used to go to like dance halls and dance, and to pubs and dance, and it just it wasn't really happening. So when you play sunshine, happy music like reggae and stuff, everyone just dances automatically. The feet move, and that's you know it's a great thing to do. Then in a pub and you know, then you tuned there from Synergy and we wish the lads all the best with their new album. Well, that's it from you all for today. And you know, this really is a heritage town in every sense of the word. People here have such a burning desire to protect and honour and share their heritage, like Pat from the Foxes Lane Folk Museum. And what I love is how after 60 years since the making of Moby Dick here, 
it's still alive and fresh in the memories of all those who both took part and who were around in Yall at the time. And with the likes of Mike Hackett's book and with the Moby Dick Festival, those wonderful stories will be passed on to a new generation and what better way to do it than that. Now if you have any information on an upcoming event in your local area, you can email us at cork at irishtv.ie or find us on Facebook and Twitter. But for now, from sunny Yall by the Sea, Salon Agus Banner.